Book of Matthew, chapter 18 and verse 21. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him till seven times. It ain't nowhere that I can't go. You see me, you see him. I'm like children in the flame, though. It's because I follow him, though. He the light to my feet, it's like flames what I follow But let me stop for you, he those I've been crossed many times, so yes I know the pain, yo And forgive is what I ain't go Told the brother get in line, giving shots like a needle I've been sinning for real, murder, but I ain't killed for real Shot for shot to seal the deal, now I'm here to swallow the pill Now I'm woozy, don't know how to act, devil is mine, I don't feel the attack My spirits of flesh had taken it back, and I ain't thinking about bringing it back Tap I think I hear it right The Lord come like a thief at night But I ain't believe the hype Yeah, like Saul when I seen the night But had me feeling like Paul when I found the light Cap, 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 cap You say you love your people But that's cap, cap, cap You swear you don't be lying But that's cap, cap, cap You say you did atonement But that's cap, cap, cap I say cap, cap Cap, cap, cap. You say you love your nation, but that's cap, cap, cap. You swear you done with envy, but that's cap, cap, cap. You say you did atonement, but that's cap, cap, cap. I say, so Peter said, if a brother sinned against me, he offended. He does something unlawful. Could have took your money, could have tail buried again. Any of those types. How many times should I forgive? Seven times? Because seven was a complete number. What did the matter? Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. With ships, prophecy was already, this was already foretold. That was already foretold. How we was get, going to get over, be in the hands of our enemies, it was already foretold. Go ahead. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold. And there what? And there ye shall be sold. You shall be what? Sold. sold. What? Sold. Won't we sold when we got over here? What we saw, we see how that's in the Bible, they never taught that to us. I never heard this in church. I grew up in the church, brother. I never heard that in the church. When I heard that verse, I was like, dang. This was Moses when we came out of Egypt. This was told before it actually happened. That didn't happen until the 1600s when we got over here. Or the 14, 1492 when Christopher Columbus came over here first and then came back in 1692 and the rest of us were brought over. See that? So that's biblical prophecy, bro. Go ahead. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. Unto your enemy. Unto your enemy. The Lord said the Israelites are going to be sold unto their enemy. Read. For bondmen. For what? For bondmen. For what? For bondmen. For what? For bondmen. And bond So when we were sold over here, the Bible said that you're going to be sold unto the hands of your enemies. Who was the enemy that we were sold to? This is history. We just didn't know that this history was recorded in the Bible like this. You see that? Oh, one more. Read up the uh, read up the verse 48. Watch this. This might blow your mind. Watch this. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemy, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. In hunger. So when you want food, you can go serve your enemies. Because we don't own food line, the Walmart, the major distribution stores. We don't own that. So we gotta go to our enemies for these things. Read. And thirst. And, and thirst. You don't pay that water bill, what's going to happen? They're going to cut it off, Rick. And in nakedness. And in nakedness, your clothes. You don't own these things. Go ahead. And in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. The Bible says that your enemy was going to put a yoke of iron upon your neck. See that? This is biblical prophecy. Is what we read it to you. That's biblical right. I, I, I'm looking at y'all face. Y'all didn't know this was in the Bible. Y'all never seen men damn near uh, uh, look like y'all preaching like this. This is us restoring back the nation of Israel that's been broken down. And it started with our youth. Because we got to come out here and teach y'all. The pastors is lying to y'all. So we out here in the streets right where y'all at. Right, right in y'all projects. Right in y'all hoods. We right here where y'all at teaching y'all the gospel, man. This is our job. This is how we raise back up our people, man. By teaching y'all. It starts with y'all. Because nobody teaching y'all. They not teaching y'all. This. this is why we got to come out here and we got to teach our people. The commandments of God and let you know that you are the greatest people on the planet Earth. You gotta understand that. Now give me uh 29 uh, uh 29. So remember, the Bible says that y'all gonna be sold into the hands of your enemy. Who is the one talking to? Who is the one talking to? Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29, verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the 
Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. 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 To make with the children of Israel.
stone most precious, even like a jasper stone. So this is a description about the kingdom of heaven. It's the last book of life, Revelation. Go ahead. Clear as crystal, right. and had a wall great and high. So when you, Lord, when we all get into the kingdom, you're going to see a wall that's going to be great and high. Read. And had 12 gates. And when you get there, it's going to be 12 gates. Read. Hold that sign up. And at the gates, 12 angels. And when you get there, you're going to see 12 angels at those gates. Read. And names written their own. And the names. Uh oh. So when you get to the kingdom, there's names that are written on the gates. Read. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of Israel, of the children of Israel. The names that's going to be written on the, on the gates of the kingdom are the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. How old are you, young sisters? Y'all, y'all, what's your nationality? Yeah. God, and that's, that's, that's what's, that's why we all here. Because that's not been, give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. That's not been taught to us. We've been taught that we, like, look how brown you is, sis. Look how brown you is. You, mama. You see that? We, we, I'm brown. Why would I say that I'm the color of this? Yeah, right. This don't, it don't make sense. They, right. they taught us that. And what's happened is, what happens is this what happens. When you tell a lie for so long, down generations, people start to believe it. See that they start to believe it. Jeremiah 17. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemy in the land which thou knowest not. So the Lord said, I'm going to, what happened was, we lost our inheritance. Your inheritance deals with your name, and it deals with your people. Yo, what, what did you eat before you were brought over here like this, before your ancestors were brought over here like this? What were your ancestors called? How did your ancestors operate? How did the women dress? How did the men dress? How did they conduct themselves? This is the history. This is the history that needs to be taught to y'all. Because this was not being taught to us. This is the reason why now, uh, uh, y'all 14, 16, they taking slavery out of the history books right now. Because they don't want y'all to know about this history. See that? So that's evil to do, though, because this history is recorded biblically. This, this hey. history is recorded biblically. This hey. happened to us because we broke God's commandments. Hey, Al, in the land. Right. That's part of the promise, too. too. We're not in our land. You know, your, your, your original land is Jerusalem. That's your original homeland. Find me that. Uh, yeah, yeah, find me that. Read this. The Book of...
Made man.